the assumption that we are making is that uh, the situation will not get worse in, uh, in H2 compared to H1, and I think that we have demonstrated through the efficiency of our operations that to a certain extent, by the quality of management of our business model, we can to a certain extent compensate for this shortfall. This is what the record profitability of 11.4% in H1 is demonstrating, is that the quality of the management of our operations is quite high and our leaders are able to compensate part of this shortfall. So we are assuming that for the second half, things will not get worse in terms of uh, supply of semiconductors, in terms of significant lockdowns, and that we will continue to execute our synergy plan, which uh, seems to be very, very strong, and uh, we delivered no less than 1.3 billion euros in the first half of this year. So we will continue to execute the synergy plan. We assume that things will not get worse on the semiconductor supply side, that uh, we will be able to manage this transition to a better supply, hopefully, I still think that it will drag into 2022, but for the time being, we expect things to improve by Q4 of this year. It is also fair to say that when you listen to all of my peers, I think the situation is the same everywhere, uh, lack of visibility, uh, but still uh, some kind of assumption that things should get a little bit better in the second half. So based on this assumption, it is very fair that we raise our, uh, our guidance to a double-digit number, uh, around 10% for the full year, uh, as, a, as a credit uh, to uh, the way the operations have been managed in, in Stellantis. And I would like here to thank all of our leadership uh, team members and also each and every employee of Stellantis. They are doing a very, very great job. Now that you've been at the helm of the combined group for almost uh, eight months, you've been able to look at different regions, the different brands, at the whole portfolio. So I know you, you gave 10 years of funding for all your brands so they can prove themselves. So can you just give us a flavor of how the work is going, how the assessment of uh, the operations in the different regions and different brands is going? Well, first, we, we believe that uh, one of the strengths of Stellantis is that we are highly diverse. We are a very diverse company coming from, from very different horizons, and we see this diversity at work. We see this diversity performing, uh, not only in North America, uh, but also in Europe, also, uh, of course, in Latin America, where we are the leaders of the market, and also with a strong profitable growth in Africa and the Middle East. So we see that this diversity is now demonstrating its ability to connect with the local societies, with the societies in which we are operating. And we see that we are now facing many sales and marketing successes. We see that our models are really uh, uh, finding their way in the marketplaces. And we see many improved uh, sales uh, positions uh, around the world. We think this diversity is a differentiator. We think this diversity is a strength of our company. And I, I can tell you that within uh, the governance way of Stellantis, we are enjoying this diversity. We are enjoying the fact that we can uh, enrich the way we discuss, we can make our discussions more lively, more productive. We see that uh, every single person, every single leader can bring his perspective to the table, and we try to discuss at the end of the day what is the best decision for the company. So what I would like to summarize is that since January 16th, 2021, when we closed the merger, we have been able to set up a new uh, leadership team, a new business governance way. We are now full speed implementing not only our uh, electrification journey, but also our synergy plan. And we are very, very focused. It is fair to say that we are operating in a growing chaos in the world. This is obvious. Uh, you should just look at all the different items. But despite this growing chaos, the team is performing uh, very well, and we really understand, all of us, why this merger was a must-have, given the challenges that we have ahead.